So now to prove that actually these chemicals are formed, we have to study the experiment conducted by Stanley Miller and uh, Harold Ure. So <clears throat> Stanley Miller and uh, Harold uh, Ure, both of them worked in the University of Chicago. And there they conducted the experiment in a special with some special glasswares. So if you lay and draw that uh, glassware, the experiment very easily you can understand the entire thing. So <clears throat> they took one uh, gas vessel. In this gas vessel, there is a pipe. The pipe is uh, connected with a condenser. This is the condenser. Then it is slightly bent, then again down, then again, then here one uh, tap is there, then it is connected with a one flask, then again here one uh, vacuum is there for liberation of the initial air and there is a hot plate on which it is there so here the water is there and this water is boiled at 800 degrees centigrade that means see, water vapors will go here, water vapors will go and this is the outlet for vacuum because initially the air which is present that, uh, that will be removed. Now the water vapor will move in this side. Now this is the uh, gas chamber or you can tell the gas flask and here the different gases are there. What are the gases? Usually methane is present, then ammonia, then hydrogen, and this water vapor is going. So water vapor, water vapor. Now these three things, the, these three, they are present in the ratio of ratio of one is to two. Sorry, uh, ratio of two is to one is to two. That will say methane two proportions, ammonia one proportion, and hydrogen one. Two is to one two. So this is again very important for examination point. Of view. Easily you can remember it is two hundred twelve. How you easily you can remember it? Because one hundred twelve. One hundred twelve is the emergency number of India, and this is two hundred twelve. So easily you can remember it. So methane, ammonia, and hydrogen. They are present the proportion of 2 is to 1 is to 2 along with this water vapor is going. Now, here this is again connected. All these gases, all these gases are present inside along with water vapor. And these are connected to electrodes. Through which the uh, 75,000 75,000 volts of energy is given. That means these three gases along with water vapor, they will combine with 75,000 volts of energy. That, and that is the energy present in the lightning. Then, this is the, this is the inlet for cold water and this is for removal of hot water and this is the condenser this is the condenser and this is the 
ट्यूब दिस ट्यूब नाउ सी हाउ द एंटर थिंग इज हैपनिंग सो इनिशियली द ऑल द गैस प्रेजेंट इन दिस प्लास दे आर रिमूव थ्रू द वैक्यूम देन एवरीथिंग इज मेड टाइट नाउ टू दिस गैस प्लास्क दिस इज गैस प्लास्क ही प्रोवाइडेड अमोनिया मीथेन अमोनिया एंड हाइड्रोजन इन प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ टू इज टू वन इज टू देन हियर वाटर इज देयर दिस वाटर इज बॉइल्ड विथ ए हॉट प्लेट एंड नाउ दिस वाटर वेपर विल गो एंड इट विल मिक्स एल विथ मीथेन अमोनिया एंड हाइड्रोजन एंड इट विल मिक्स एट वट वोल्टेज सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड वोट्स ऑफ एनर्जी एंड दैट ऑफ एनर्जी इज यूजली प्रेजेंट इन द लाइटनिंग now when this they will form now they will come downwards the gases because here water vapor is going constantly and this this was carried out to continuously for 18 days that means uh, continuously that much of energy through the electrodes are provided for continuously for 18 days and the gases or the whatever is formed here while coming through the condenser they will be they will cool down and those chemicals will come and they will settle here along with water now you compare this vessel to this is equivalent to the primitive atmosphere that is in the primitive atmosphere methane ammonia and and water vapor and hydrogen are present and due to lightning the different organic compounds form that we have discussed so the same atmosphere is form so this is equivalent to the primitive atmosphere now this uh, condenser where all these things will coming down they will be cooled so this condenser is equivalent to the torrential rain and then that uh, water will come down along with the chemicals when the torrential rain will there there it will flow and it will go be settled in the ocean so this tube is equivalent to ocean now you see the entire apparatus is uh, simulated to the primitive atmospheric condition and after continuously carrying out this experiment for 18 days it was analyzed what are the different chemicals they are present in the tube it was found inside this tube the alanine amino acids alanine aspartic acid glycine these are the three amino acids present so how you can easily remember it you can remember it is a arg arg easily you can remember arg alanine aspartic acid glycine so these are the and besides these also there are presence of sugars presence of sugars are also are there and when this experiment was carried out without any electric charge nothing was formed here now you see the difference that means these different chemical comp the comp these compounds the molecules they are converted to organic compounds like amino acids and sugars only in presence of the high voltage which was present in the primitive atmosphere but when there is no electric charge no compound is formed and later on after this uh, uh, miller and ure then when other scientists they carried out the experiment they found that besides uh, besides these amino acids all the other 17 have been that is all the 20 amino acids all the 20 amino acids then uh, fatty acids fatty acids glycerol sugars nucleosides all this uh, compounds are formed inside it again another scientist known as s w fox of miami university miami university when they combined this amino acids when they combined the amino acids 
at a temperature at a temperature of 130 to 180 degree centigrade he found uh, that proteins were formed and he called it as proteinoid proteinoid microspheres similarly <coughs> when uh, new uh, nucleo what can I tell the nitrogen bases nitrogen bases sugars and phosphates when they were given the temperature of 68 degree centigrade the nucleic acids were formed that means actually in the primitive earth all these things have been formed that is clearly proved so this is the experiment carried out by stanley stanley miller and uh, Harold C. Ivory. They conducted this uh, experiment in the University of Chicago. So now it is proved that whatever has happened in the primitive atmosphere is really correct. Now, after this, what are the other steps? That we have discussed only two steps of this or of this uh, chemical evolution. Then the third step, third step is formation of formation of a complex organic compounds. Because in the previous one, we simple organic compounds, complex organic compounds. That means these are the polymers. These are the polymers. That means. When sugars combine together, sugars plus sugars, it gives rise to polysaccharides. And when the fatty acids, fatty acids combine with the visceral, give rise to fats. And when uh, amino acid, amino acid combine together, give rise to proteins and when the nucleotides combine together they give rise to nucleic acids nucleic acids so this is how the different types of the uh, compounds that is the polymers have been formed now after the formation of all these things the next step in the chemical evolution is formation of formation of molecular aggregates formation of molecular aggregates again oparin and fox these two scientists they observed that these different uh, complex organic compounds they aggregated together to form uh, uh, to form some ag aggregates they are known as uh, co-sorbates co according to oparin or they are known as uh, microspheres according to Fox and this is according to oparin so, <clears throat> this how what is structure of the cosorbates? Usually, here different type, the different compounds like the carbohydrates, proteins, the nucleic acids, they combine together in form of aggregates, and these are known as cosorbates. Cosorbates, and they are surrounded by a layer of uh, water. Because uh, here the different types of proteins are there, and they have uh, jutelic ion. That is why there is a layer of uh, water which surrounds this. So these uh, aggregates or these cosorbates or microspheres, they are the starting of life. That means uh, these cosorbates, they are, from them the life has been started. That is why this uh, chemical theory has been accepted almost by everybody. 
that in this way the life has been formed. But still there are another two steps uh, we'll discuss after this. Now after the formation of uh, coservates and the nucleic acid, the next step is uh, formation of uovates. That means uh, these coservates, when they were controlled by the nucleic acids, they are known as uovates. That means uh, coservates, coservates controlled by nucleic, nucleic acids. Then the next step, the next step is uh, formation of formation of a primitive cells. Now this you can call as prokaryotic cell. Prokaryotic cell. Now already the coservates are uh, controlled by nucleic acid. So here what is the other steps here? Here there is a cell membrane or you can tell uh, lipoprotein membrane lipoprotein membrane there, then uh, nucleic acids there, nucleic acids and enzymes, enzymes, but no nucleus, no nucleus, and in the final step, the eukaryotic cells, the final eukaryotic cell, eukaryotic cell, all this lipoprotein, nucleic acid, all these things, in addition to that, there is a the true nucleus. So these uh, three steps, that is uh, the coming in the evolution of life. But of course that stage, that is the how the life has been originated through chemical process and it is accepted at present. Now we will discuss questions. So, <clears throat> only start two questions. Now, one question is Miller and Ure performed experiment for origin of life. The gases. They took OER one choice methane, ethane, ammonia, hydrogen. Second choice methane. Ammonia, hydrogen, water vapor. Third choice methane, ethane, butane, carbon dioxide. The next one, next one is C. methane. Ammonia, methane ammonia, water vapor, and uh, butane. So, this is one question. This was asked also in PMT. Then, the second question. The second question is chemical, chemical theory of evolution. Of life, life was given by was given by first choice Stanley Miller, 
सेकेंड चॉइस शिपाल अंजानी थर्ड चॉइस ओपारिन हार्डेन एंड फोर्थ चॉइस लुई पास so you will be able to answer uh, both the questions because we have discussed uh, all these things this uh, this part of discussion today is very very important for examination point of view i hope you have very clear understanding regarding the origin of life thank you very much god bless you